So, you want an accurate and full power air gun that you can use for some serious target work as well as being able to use for pest control. But, want to be able to carry it discreetly in your backpack. Watch on, I may have just the thing for you, the RTI Profit Compact. Wow. And welcome to AAR On Air. It's RTI time. And when they said compact, they weren't kidding. Just look at it. It's tiny. I think I've seen longer toothpicks. Now, at this point, someone is going to say it's ridiculous. The barrel will be too short for it to be accurate, or it's too short to be classed as legal in the UK. Well, the stats bit then. It is 653 millimetres long, which makes it perfectly UK legal. And the barrel is 400 millimetres or 16 inches long. And it's a Lothal Walther barrel at that. So with that kind of heritage behind it, it should be accurate. But rest assured, it will get fully tested later. And I'm even going to recruit some help as well. It tips the scales at a super lightweight 2.85 kilograms, with the bulk of that limited weight being right back in the end, which is tucked nicely close to centre of gravity. From the front then, the threaded end cover, this is important because it's half inch UNF threaded. And you're going to need to unscrew this and replace it with a silencer of your choice. Why? Because this makes more noise than a scorned ex-wife going through menopause. On a bad day. Well, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. But it does have quite a bark to it. Pop a half-decent silencer on the end and it can calm it down to more church mouse levels. And without stretching it out too much in terms of overall length. Microphones usually compensate for this, but let's try it. <laughs> Behind this is that Lothar Walther barrel beneath the shroud, and below this is the beautiful carbon fibre 200cc air tank or bottle, which is fillable to a maximum of 300 bar pressure. Behind this, you find the twin gauges, one for fill pressure and the other is the regulator, which on the higher power versions is adjustable. The simple Foster fitting filler port is also in the similar area. It's simple yet efficient and it comes with a simple yet efficient dust cover just to keep the dirt and grime out. Behind all this lot is the fully adjustable two-stage trigger with a blocking safety. Press from left to right for safety, which locks it off, and right to left, which puts it in fire mode and shows a small red ring around the safety itself. Everything seems to be going off in this area because below that there is also a short Picatinny rail for your toys, accessories, bipods, etc. Above the trigger on the left hand side is that side lever cocking arm which is smooth and has double grips top and bottom. There really is a nice closed click action to it. Along the top is a 20 MOA Picatinny rail for your preferred choice of scope. And it hints that this little compact bullpup's ability is to shoot out over greater distances. The RTIs are very skeletal in design and this is no exception. It does mean you're using the shrouded barrel as a cheek piece rest, which some may find a little cold on winter days. The rest of the stock is also all metal and houses the plenum and additional fill probe together with 
the magazine slot on the top. The grip, as is coming all too popular these days, is an AR15 style grip and is covered in high quality rubber to give you a very stable grip to the gun. There is the usual removable cover at the bottom of the grip. Again, it would be nice if it would accommodate a spare magazine or the like. This does come with a supplied and quality hard case, which as you would expect is also pretty small. It is however just about big enough to accommodate the gun with a suitably compact scope fitted. It comes supplied with one magazine which in this 177 caliber version holds 15 rounds of your preferred ammunition. Loading it is pretty simple. All you need to do is drop in your first pellet, rotate clockwise slightly, drop in your second pellet and repeat until all are filled up. Once you've got this completely loaded, simply return it to the gun, pull back on the cocking arm, drop in from the top now at this point you can choose whether you want it to lean on the left or right hand side. It makes absolutely no difference to the gun and the mechanism of it, but it just makes it easier to find out what you prefer, whether you're a left or right handed shooter. Nice idea. Okay then, time to take a look at the power levels on this sub 12 foot pound version. I loaded this one up with 10.34 grain pellets and it saw 717 feet per second, which is a very respectable 11.81 foot pounds or 16.01 joules. So the size certainly hasn't had any effect on the power output. And in FAC or higher power, these become little cannons with some hard hitting power available. Has it had any effect on the accuracy? Time to get this set up with a nice compact scope and put it to the test out on the range at 40 metres with a guest. Well, sadly, not a sunny day, um, but we have managed to now get away from the rain for a while. Time to get this down out on the range. Let's see what we can do with it, shall we? And I think I might see if I can actually coerce Mrs. AAR into having a go with this one a little later as well. I must admit, it's tiny. I have put a silencer, moderator, whatever you want to call it, on the end, which does make it a lot, lot quieter. Without it, she's got quite a bark. But let's have a go out at 40 metres just to start with. Well, I for one, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm not surprised. I've used them before. I've used the Prophet, I've used the Priest. They're an odd design, but my goodness, they are accurate. It just seems to be in their DNA. Absolutely superb. Let's stretch it out first, shall we? <laughs> this little compact seems to defy all the rules. The results are incredible, and the weak link in this combination is usually the shooter. Even with the wind blowing, this was pretty much putting pellet on pellet, even with such a relatively short barrel. Its accuracy is unquestionable. So, then I put the gamo spinners out at 50 metres and...
even when I hit it and it spun the rest of the targets around, I was able to catch the others on the edge and turn the spinner back around. I just know this will easily stretch out further. And at 60 metres, it was taking out beer bottle tops, no problem at all. There really isn't a lot to not like about this little pocket rocket. You will need to add the price of a silencer for this little barker. Add that to the UK price of £1,399 and you pretty much have everything you're likely to need for a really enjoyable session of precision target work or real close quarter pest control. This really has put a smile on my face and is ideal for the smaller, shorter shooter as well as in an environment where a short, powerful and accurate tool is needed to do the job. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one too. If so, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, click the old alarm bell, share, comment and join in the chats. There is the AAR on our website to visit and of course a big thank you to Vector Air for getting hold of this one for me to review. <laughs> nice one guys. And finally, of course, a big thank you to you guys for watching. Please stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully... I'll see you next week with even more exciting stuff to review. Bye for now.